Hello, YouTube people. Today I will tell you the reason why I have bought this Casio watch once again. I have already done the review on this watch. If you want to see the review, check the link in the description. And I have also bought its uh, brother watch with the white dial, expecting to like this one just as much, which I don't. I actually prefer the one with the black dial. Now, the reason. Go straight to the point why I bought it once again. So, after doing after doing the review of this watch, I sold it and ever since I regret for two things. First of all, I regret for selling this watch and secondly, I doubt myself and regret for not putting this watch straight into God tier. And to be sure, if that's not my nostalgia speaking, I bought this watch once again. And I have been wearing this watch for the past three weeks right now, voluntarily. It's not planned. I just I just don't want to take it off my wrist. And not for a single moment I have doubt myself that I shouldn't put this watch in a got here. This is very, very lovely watch. And as a tool watch, it is surprisingly nice as well, at least to my eyes. It's no, you know, it's down to personal preferences. Now uh, you see, what, what's the what's the thing? What's the big problem? Uh, the thing is that over time, I buy and experience more watches, time access watch watches, Aliexpress watches, and so on. And with time and experience, the way I see things changes as well. And I look back in time uh, on my old ratings on ThomasWatchReviews.com, where I rate watches into different year lists, and I do have some regrets overall over my old ratings you know and this one was the biggest regret of them all the, the biggest one i had to fix this one uh, initially this watch went into keepers because it has two technical problems two minor technical problems uh, everything on the dial hands numbers completely white but markings on the bezel have slight yellowish tint and second problem is that day and date wheels have slightly different background while date wheel has white background uh, day wheel has slightly silver background not really that noticeable but it's there the difference is there and because of those two reasons i initially have placed this watch just into keepers even though keepers is very very strong position but I ever since felt like it was a mistake. I should have placed this watch in the God here. And over time gaining more and more experience with watches, I was regretting this more and more. So I had to fix it. So I bought this watch once again, and now I'm fixing it. This watch is a God tier watch, and I don't have a single doubt about it. The way this watch makes me feel, the way it looks, the, 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 the way how comfortable it is, it is simply, unbelievable watch unbelievable i love absolutely every, everything about this watch now if i want to be a little bit more specific a little bit more technical especially explaining you why i am not putting the watch the same watch but with the white dial why i'm not putting this one in a got here but i'm putting this one in a keepers and the black one goes in a got here why is that why is that what's my reasoning well first of all the one with the white dial looks a little bit more simple that's not a bad thing but it kind of looks well i don't know generic i would say even though it's a very cute very nice also very good watch it just doesn't look as cool as the one with the black dial and if i would look to technical side of things there is one technical very important thing is that this watch has flat acrylic crystal and at certain angles actually at most angles it looks like this crystal just simply disappears it's like it's not even there it's very very clear it doesn't get fingerprints it's it, it's it's wonderful simply wonderful and that's especially noticeable how wonderful this flat acrylic crystal is on a black dial on a black dial because usually when watch has black dial all fingerprints everything is very very noticeable all the reflections but with this black dial it looks awesome simply awesome because on most angles it looks like there is nothing in between you and the dial and with the white dial watch 
that's usually not a problem because white dial is very strong it usually overpowers fingerprints and reflections because it's white dial it doesn't look that you know special something but with the black dial it definitely looks so special and acrylic crystal it does get scratches right the, the one the, the black dial already has scratches but somehow they are not really that annoying because first of all they are not really that noticeable they cast a shadow on the dial but on a black dial this shadow is not really that noticeable but when the watch has white dial scratched acrylic crystal casts a shadow on a white dial which is very noticeable so that's the negative side of white dial watch with acrylic crystal but you know i'm trying to be technical a little bit but what it comes down is just personal taste that i just prefer the one with the black dial it looks super cool i mean black strap black case black bezel black chaptering black dial it all comes together so nicely it is so cool watch it's oh my god i just i just love it i just simply love it and i just simply don't feel the same way about the one with the white dial it is amazing watch but it's just it's just missing that specialness that the black one has anyway this video is already getting <laughs> way too long so I, the, the single reason why i'm even making this video is just you know to fix my p mistakes from the past and this one was the biggest mistake from the past for not putting this watch in a gotier thank you for watching have a beautiful day goodbye